3.0.5 is out and we're going to test the arrange mode okay I have two tracks I just really want to test the workflow so we're going to make a beat just using the arrange mode first of all the thing that we need to know is that when we want to record into the arrangement window we need to press on the record and then we have to arrangement and it tells you that you're recording to the arrangement if you don't do that then you'll end up recording to a clip so press record it says record to clip so each time that you want to record to the arrangement window you're going to have to press the record and to arrangement always okay first of all let me find okay i'll use that i want to find a sample i have that one I'm actually going to use 16 levels, one of the great things about 3.05. So yeah, we have the sample. Let's go into the clip window, to the arrangement window, and we're going to record onto the first track. So it's still blinking. We have the track armed, so we're just going to press record. Let me see what I'm going to do. That works. Let's just do that. Great, we have that recorded onto the grid. If you want to edit the uh, the MIDI notes, you either go here, so you can nudge. So this is the, the place where you go to kind of nudge the notes around. Okay, and you can do it here, or you can go into the grid. If you go into the grid, you have more control over whatever is on, uh, on the grid. So, you can go to edit you have more options here to edit the MIDI notes so let's close that but if you're in the arrange mode and you, you can still edit stuff by going up there but you have more functionalities available if you're here okay just so you are aware but we're going to get through them while we make the beat so you also have uh, automation right here you can change it from velocity to another thing we have a sample going and now we want to edit the drum track. So again, record because we want to record into the arrangement. This is one of the things that kind of breaks the workflow a little bit. Uh, maybe this could be improved on just but if you click on record, it's always going to go into the clip first. And there really isn't no option to where you can change it just to be in the uh, arrangement window. I haven't found one. Maybe there is but I don't see any so let's just stop this record arrangement and uh, arm the track and let's go I see that we missed a note, we can just record it in like that and it's done. Now if you want to try and press on the record while this is playing, okay. see that we erased that, I don't want, I don't want I don't want that to happen so let's the reason why is that we have MIDI arrays on okay so I'm going to undo what I did undo that and MIDI arrays means that it's not going to overdub it's going to erase whatever is written on the track so if you want to overdub if you want to add stuff over whatever you recorded just keep that uh, turned off okay so let's go let's go for the hi-hats Okay. So I 
record the two different hi-hats because it's just easier for me to grab the hi-hats and now nudge them. Nudge and don't snap to the grid like that. Great, so we kind of created a little bit of a workflow. So we are able to be on the uh, the arrangement view, but still go directly to the edit area where you can edit all your MIDI notes. So very much like a DAW where you would have these two options. Now the only thing that to me really, uh, I think could be improved on again is the ability to grab regions straight from here. So, so there's no way of you grabbing this and moving it around. What you do now is to copy. Uh, so you go to edit up top and then we have several options to edit the grid. You know, erase, clear, you have different things here. Delete bars, insert bars, very, very uh, useful. And you can copy bars, That that's what we want. Or you can copy events where you go and you choose which events of the track you want to copy to which bar. So this is very much MPC like it's always the same kind of workflow as the MPC, but now you can see it on an actual arrangement window. So very, very helpful. So let's cancel. We don't want that. We want to copy bars. What we want to do is we want to copy these four bars and extend them as we would be working on a linear view. So let's go edit. Okay, so let's copy bars and the first bar is number one, the last bar is number four and you want to place it after bar number four. How many copies do you want? I'm, I'm just going to say I want like eight, eight copies. Okay, replace and now we have a bunch of copies and we've, we've extended that first loop. I kind of like to work this way because then I, I just go with my loop function to another area and work on that area. So I've just copied a bunch of them. We can always go in and erase certain areas, that's okay. We have some options here to zoom in and out, but you know, if you work it with the fingers on the screen, it works great. What I wanna do is to delete that first bit. So turn off the loop. I wanna delete that first bit of the drums. So again, we have to go into edit, and now we're gonna say uh, erase. So if you see at the top, it tells us the name of the drum track. I'm gonna say, I wanna delete from bar number one up to bar five, okay? Do it. So from one, two, five, that's where it stops. It stops at five, one, zero, okay? Do it, and now yeah, we have everything deleted up to bar number five, okay? And we can build our song like this, so play. We have like an intro now. Okay, what I wanna do, and this is me just testing the uh, the arrangement. What I wanna do is extend my intro. So I'm gonna copy uh, from one to four and just gonna insert it after that. Now we could do this just by inserting a bar, but we wanna copy actually. So copy bars. First bar number four, and not up to bar five here is copy bar four, because bar four is gonna get copied, the entire bar. So, okay, so after which bar? After bar number four, okay, how many copies? Just one copy, that's okay. Uh, replace, right? And then now we have uh, from one to eight. So we've copied this section and placed it right there before of the drums kick in. All right, so what I want to do now is we have uh, eight bars of that, and I want to add some samples here before the drums go in. Let me put the loop on, and I'm going to loop just this section right here, okay? And I want to add some uh, some other samples. Okay, so I got some uh, samples to work with. Uh, I've just added a delay to this. All right, let's record clip, and again, same thing to the arrangement and uh, arm that, let's go. Okay. Okay. 
So we have that. So the idea is to have uh, an intro and then it jumps on to the drums, right? Now, another thing that we can do is to work with clips at the same time that we're working here on the grid. Now, let's just turn the loop on again. And we're going to go here to this section. Okay. Just going to be working with these uh, four bars right there. But now we're going to be testing a clip before we record onto the grid here onto the arrangement. We can have a clip just testing ideas on the clip. Doesn't make much sense because you can definitely be testing ideas right here, but you can have a bunch of ideas on clips. I think that's the power of having uh, a sequencer like this that you can test ideas in clips and then see which one works better. So what do you do here? Uh, I'm actually going to create another track. So actually I'm going to copy this track to here, but don't do it like that. Otherwise you're going to copy all the events. Okay. So what you do is that you just touch there and just copy track. That way you copy a track, but don't copy any events. Now notice that you have that arrow there at the top. That means that uh, it's not playing whatever is written on the, uh, on the arrangement. That means that the track is playing the sounds from a clip. So whenever you're playing a clip, that track will not play any MIDI notes from the arrangement, okay? Let's go to this track and we're gonna create a clip, all right? So let's get into the clip. It's telling us to select a clip. I'm gonna say whatever, this clip right here. Select, yeah, four bars. I wanna work with four bars, done. So let's go into the note and we're gonna test some ideas. Play, okay? Okay, we've uh, we found a sample and now we're going to record it into the clip, all right? So let's go. Okay, we need to play the clip before we record. So that's it. So once you start the clip, it's going to start the arrangement as well, okay? And now we have our clip playing and we can record into the clip, okay? Let's go to the notes. Make sure the track is armed. Okay, make sure your other tracks are not armed. Okay, I just want to filter. Let's go and filter this, take all the, the lows away. Okay, so we've recorded one clip, that, okay, but we want another clip because we will want to test ideas out. Like, that's the point of recording several clips into a track right here. So before we actually commit to the arrangement, we have different ideas. But let's try a different idea. So let's go into the notes. Okay, so we are in that section of the arrangement and we can have our clips and test out the clips. So it's, it's a really, really great way of testing out things that might work with the song or not. So we can even open up this just a little bit so we can have a feel for how the thing is going to start. Okay, so let's go.
so I prefer that one. So what do we do now? We want to record into the arrangement, right? So all we need to do is just press on the record. So press record and when it gets to the spot, you click on the clip. You can either do it that way or you can just go straight into the recording and press arrangement and press play. Now the clip stops and we have whatever we want recorded into the grid, okay? Now we kind of have a song going. Obviously that's that's really the workflow. We can go back, add more samples to any of the parts that we want. We loop the section, try out clips if you want to try out some ideas first. If you want to edit anything inside of the track, you just go into this section. Wherever you have the playhead, this will jump to that section. You can see the playhead right there. It's always uh, mirroring whatever's on top, so you can easily edit the section. So, but basically that's the workflow, and it's it's really it's really a great way to to create a whole entire arrangement. It's probably one of the best in the market so far. But it feels it really needs some updates to make the workflow even faster. In my opinion, it would just be a question of adding regions uh, to, to the track so we could easily move regions around and copy regions around. Double click on a region would pop up this screen that we have here so we could edit the region. So, but overall, it's, it's, it's really good. The workflow, it's getting there. Uh, for people that really love uh, the DAW workflow, this is the only machine I believe in the market that does it. Obviously, you have the list editor. This is good for some parameter locking like the electron workflow where you can just select a note and tune it to a different... Uh, you have, you know, obviously, you don't have the complexity of electron workflow, but you can definitely lock a step to a certain parameter that you have available here. So the grid always highlights whatever is playing. So if you have this track playing the uh, the clip, that will show up on the grid. But if you have the arrangement playing, that the arrangement will show up on the grid. But you can only have one, obviously it's the one that's playing. Whenever you have some arrows here, that means when you, whenever you have the arrow right there, it means that the clip is playing and not the track on the arrangement, okay? So if you want the track on the arrangement to be playing, you always press on the arrows, okay? This is the only track that has clips, so obviously all the others will always be playing in the arrangement mode. But if you select um, a clip, you'll get the arrow, okay? I hope you kind of understand how everything works. If you want to edit anything, all the edit options are right here. Or you have some edit options on the grid as well to edit the MIDI notes. But that's basically it. So it's it's not really that complicated. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.